Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Sabbath Services. This is questions and answers number two. Here's a question. In the Ten Commandments, we are commanded not to make any graven images. Why did Moses make a serpent, symbol of Satan, when the people looked at it, their plague was stopped? Well, let's read it here in Numbers 21. Let's pick it up in verse 5. Now, you would think this, that the children of Israel, they're in the presence of God with a cloud by day and pillar of fire by night after seeing all the plagues that God brought upon the Egyptians to bring them out of Egypt, passing through the Red Sea, speaking the Ten Commandments from Mount Sinai, and then they made the tabernacle and they were ready to go into the promised land in Numbers 14. The 12 spies went out, and when they came back, 10 of them said, oh, they're too big, they're too, too, we can't do it, we won't do it. And so Joshua and Caleb said, no, no. God has taken away their defenses. We will win. Well, they refused to do it. Okay. And God said, all right. After you have tempted me these 10 times, you're not going into the promised land. Now, they would have gone in there during the Feast of Tabernacles of the second year. But because of their rebellion, God says, my sentence to you is this. As the spies were checking out the land for 40 days, everyone over 20 is going to die in the wilderness, and you will wander for 40 years, a year for every day. So they had other encounters with God. Now we come to Numbers 21 in verse 5. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Right there in the face of God. They spoke against God. Now question, how strong is carnal nature to go against God? got to be pretty strong if you're in the presence of God to do this, right? Okay. So let's see what God did. Here's what they said. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul hates this light bread. Okay, that's the manna. So they had bread and water. Well, came from God. Now, they, they must have really been in a tithy when they said this. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, verse 6, and they bit the people, and many people of Israel died. Now, number one, biggest lesson here is never, Go against God to where you're hateful against him. Because you will pay a price. In some cases, immediately. In other cases, it'll be on down the road. And the people came to Moses and Aaron and said, We have sinned. Huh. For we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole. This was never intended to be a symbol of Satan. Nor was it ever intended to be worshipped as the children of Israel did later. And it shall be when everyone who is bitten looks upon it, he shall live. 
And Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it on a pole, and it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man and it looked upon the serpent of brass, they lived. It doesn't tell us any more than that. So we need to learn the lesson. Why God made the serpent, we're, we're not told, except that he sent the serpents, and he alone could cause them to stop. And since they weren't really li willing to listen to God, he asked the minimum of them, look on the serpent, and you shall live. He didn't intend it to be a sign of Satan at all, okay? Thank you.